Do you, is there supposed to be explanation as part of this? Or yeah, so just, doing it? J just, you know, if you could tell me a little bit about what you built and how it works, that would be awesome. Yeah, um, so we built a, um, the premise is that it will detect Cornell ID numbers. The idea is that okay. you write your right Cornell ID and then it will store the seven digit number and display it. Okay. Um, so it does that using um, a CNN and obviously a resistive touchpad on an OLED screen. Okay. Um, and so yeah, let's, let's, let's see if it works. <laughs> You've been drawing the whole time. Oh gosh. Okay, okay so you've got a little stylus. So I recognized a one. Wait, can I? Sorry. <laughs> No, it's not okay. to worry. Oh, you can backspace. <laughs> There's a backspace. There's a backspace. Nice. Oof. Yeah, I know. I need to go a little slower as well. Yeah. Cool. Re reset. Yeah. That's okay. Um, the, I, it's the seven digits. Wait, got seven, it. Yeah. Wait, I gotta get hit the seven now. Wait. Oh, that's the seven. Yeah. 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 That just demonstrated every digit. Yeah. Awesome. So you're using a stylus with the resistive touch screen? Yes. Sampling that with the ADC? Yes. Is that right? Okay. And then that value is going into a local CNN? Yeah. So okay. we basically divide this up into like 28 bins. Uh -huh. And that's the 28 by 28 image input into the MNIST, and our CNN is trained on MNIST. Um, yeah, a lot of work was put into, you know, balancing how complex the model is and how much space it takes up on the RP2040. Uh -huh. And We tried a few different models. Yeah, we tried okay. a few different models. We also tried to do, um, like, alphanumeric, but with, I guess, the... You know, resolution that you can get on this touch screen. You know, like a two versus a Z was not very good. Uh huh. And then to get, I mean, to be able to classify that, we'd have to make a pretty deep and complex model that in of itself would not fit on the sure. Yeah. Sure. So what was the limiting things? Memory or, or speed? Memory. Mm -hmm. It was memory. Yeah. Yes. The okay. inference is actually pretty fast. The, yeah, I guess the, it's just the issue model. is, yeah, so the we, model we, size. We're we using Pico or Pico 2? This is Pico. Yeah. Okay. It's a very nice board as well. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of hacky things had to be done. So first we tried it with oh, this, a, like a, a TFT touchscreen. Uh huh. And then we realized, you know, we don't have the driver for this. Um, a lot of issues getting this set up. Uh -huh. So then we tried, you know, getting. So this has a ILI driver and a XPT driver. So we tried just cutting... Oh, well, it doesn't have the driver. The issue is that we don't have the driver. Oh, yeah, we don't have the driver. <laughs> uh -huh. So we tried just, you know, cutting the traces off the ILI to get, the analog to get you know, like the X Which plus, worked, X actually. minus, Y uh -huh. plus, this Y minus. Yeah. And it worked, but this ended up working a lot better. Yeah. Uh, some issues with this is, one, I, compared to like the touchscreen that you had, this is pretty small. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of like coupling. So we had to, you know, slow down the polling speed between X and Y. Uh -huh. We also had to 
do like fake ADC reads. So it reads the ADC, but it doesn't take that as the X value or the Y value. So that's how we're able to slow it down and like remove the coupling between X and Y. Okay. Um, some other issues that took us a while to figure out is the resistance across the X is a lot smaller than the resistance across the Y. So we had to add, like, if you want to show the back. Oh gosh. We had to, <laughs> we had to add resistors on the back towards the GPIOs so that when it drives it, it's, you know, like it, it'll match the resistance across the X and the Y. Okay. So yeah, I'd say that was like the resistance touchscreen, a lot of work. Yeah. Went to figuring out how to map that properly. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's like the real. I mean, you can see the output, what it what it actually outputs, and why it's like difficult to classify. Do you have the white table? Um, yeah. I think that's. Um, we set up so that it will display like the actual arrays that yeah. the is input is this. Um, so these are the one twenty eight by one twenty eight. Twenty eight by twenty eight. Twenty eight by twenty eight. Okay. And so while while you can make like the model better, a lot of work can also be done on how you kind of like pre-process the data off the resistive touchscreen. Mm. For example, you know, do you want to pad what you're drawing with like grayscale values? So right now, I mean, we've experimented with a lot of things. You know, how wide do you want to make the drawing? Do you want to make it one pixel wide, two pixels wide? Okay. Um, So you can see it's like kind of constantly displaying things. Uh -huh. There's already a little 255 there, so I'm just gonna uh, clear that out there. Oh, you know what? It's probably because of the tape. It's probably because of the tape. Yeah. the tape. That's fine. I'll just take it off. I think it'll be better. You can also remove the film. I think that's fine. Okay, hopefully the, it's a little bit more accurate and classifying now. Uh, but you can see, so just clear that out. But, I draw one, you could see like the actual yeah, two sure. five. Stop the closet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's some noise from touching it, but uh -huh. yeah, that's the one. Uh, uh -huh. Draw uh, something else. Clear it. Um, should I draw six? Seven. Okay. And so uh, a lot of noise, but you can kind of see the the seven. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. So I, I, I did it already. Yeah. It's, it's up there somewhere. It's a little too. Okay, this is, yeah. this is a better example. You can see there's yeah, two. Yeah, for sure. There's some little noise. I will say these FPC connectors are not great. I did accidentally rip one, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> so I always buy two. One was ripped today. Um, that was, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, fun. these things always happen last minute. But yeah, I think there's a little bit of noise with this screen. Um, but you could see, like, here the two. Yeah, for sure. Um, very yeah. nice. Cool. That That's very compelling. Um, and here you can see the actual, like, the weights that it shows for each, like, sort of digit that it can classify. Yeah. And, like, this obviously has the highest probability. So the last, um, yeah, the last layer of the CNN is softmax. And that, you know, after you do all your layers, it shrinks it down to just 10 values of the output. And those are the raw probabilities that you see for each digit. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. If I draw, like, garbage. Yes. I, I can see why it thinks that's a two. Yeah. It's like, but like, it, it'll give probabilities for other yeah, things. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. But, yeah. Cool. Very nice. That's a that's a really interesting project. Cool. Thank yeah. you both.